Good morning. Let us study today conducting polymers. What is the mechanism of conduction in conducting polymers? What are the charge carriers in conducting polymers? They are polarons. They are called polarons, bipolarons, soliton, band gap. Using band gap, we can explain why they are conducting, non-conducting or semi-conducting. Okay. In general, organic polymers are insulators. We know that organic polymers are used for wire, electrical wiring. They are insulators. However, recently, conducting polymers were synthesized and were given Nobel Prize for synthesizing conducting polymers. There are certain polymers having alternate single bond and double bond. One double bond, then one single bond, then one double bond. That is alternate single and double bonds called conjugate by conjugate systems. These are called biconjugate systems with alternate single and double bonds along the backbone structure called conducting polymers. For example, polyacetylene is the first synthesized polymer with appreciable conductivity. There are two forms of polyacetylene. It is obtained from polymerization of acetylene trans polyacetylene and cis polyacetylene polyphenylene polythiophene polyaniline poly, polypyrrole etc pyrrole when pyrrole is polymerized you will get poly pyrrole is obtained when aniline is polymerized by chemical or electrochemical method or um, photo induced method polyaniline is obtained etc. There are different types of conducting polymers. Polythiophene is obtained from, from polymerization of thiophene. This is the repeating unit and their conductivity uh, in Siemens per centimeter inverse. Among the polymers, trans polyacetylene is one of the very highly conducting polymer. 10 power 3 to 10 power 5 and least conducting is polyaniline. Let us see the discovery of conducting polymer. What is the first conducting polymer, organic polymer synthesized? The first polymer with the significant conductivity synthesized was polyacetylene or polythene. The poly, polyethane sorry polyethane was obtained from polymerization of acetylene using Ziger Nota catalyst. Again Ziger Nota also received the Nobel Prize for um, discovering this catalyst. Its electrical polyacetylene is not a good conductor, it is not conducting. Its conduct electrical conductivity was later discovered by Hideki Sirakawa, Alan Heger and Alan McDermott. They received the Nobel Prize, you see, they received the Nobel Prize jointly in chemistry in the year 2000 for this discovery. They first synthesized this polymer in the year 1974. They obtained the polyacetylene as a silvery metallic film, silvery metallic appearance film from acetylene using Ziger Nota catalyst polymerization. Although it, it has a metallic appearance, polyacetylene has metallic appearance, it did not have conductivity. Why? Later, after three years, they found that on oxidation with the halogen vapor, they used the oxidizing agent and pi electrons are oxidized to produce highly conducting polymer. This discovery further led to the development of development synthesis of a lot of organic conducting polymers and development of new 
field called organic conducting polymers. These conducting organic conducting polymers are flexible. They are used in flexible uh, cell phones as a monitor and also in computer flexible folding foldable computer etc. These have prop having properties of both metallic and semiconducting and also called synthetic metals because of high conductivity. Organic conducting polymers are also called synthetic metals because of very high conductivity similar to that of metal. What is the mechanism of conduction? What, is, what are the charge carriers in conducting polymers? In this we will see. Using band theory, the mechanism of conduction in conducting polymer can be explained. For example, you have um, alternate double bond as well as single bond, double bond. So, you have pi, pi electrons, two, there are two pi electrons. Each carbon atom in trans polyacetylene is sp2 hybridized. Each carbon atom has uh, one unhybridized pz orbital. They overlap sideways to form pi bond, to give pi bond. There are two pi electrons. Therefore, pi bonding molecular orbital, there are two pi bonding molecular orbital, pi star antibonding molecular orbitals. By analogy, the pi bonding and pi star antibonding orbitals of sp2 hybrid skeleton backbone carbon atoms give pi band and pi star band. See in, in lithium for example 2s band, 2 in beryllium 2s and 2p band. Similarly by analogy there are two bands pi band and pi star band because of um, several alternate uh, double bonds pi band the highest occupied band is called valence band this is valence band is completely filled full because of two pi electrons whereas the conduction band is empty is unoccupied the lowest unoccupied band is called pi star band called conduction band in conductors the valence band and conduction band overlaps whereas in semiconducting polymer or in metal there is a band gap there is an energy difference between valence band and conduction band in doped semiconductor in n type or p type semiconductors there is an impurity band which lies between the valence band and conduction band it decreases the band gap therefore it becomes uh, semiconducting or conducting in insulator in insulator the band gap is very much larger we will see further in insulators as we have seen the band gap is very very large there is an appreciable energy difference between the valence band and conduction band Therefore, electrons could not be readily promoted to conduction band because of the large energy gap where uh, the electron could move freely. Intrinsic, there are two types of semiconductors, intrinsic semiconductors and extrinsic semiconductors by doping. Intrinsic semiconductors are insulators where there is band gap but sufficiently small. When on heating, on rising the temperature, the electrons are electrons jumps from valence band to conduction band and becomes highly conducting. As it is organic polymers, organic conducting polymers that is non-doped without doping as synthesized, they are less conducting, they are not conducting, sometimes they are not conducting as we have seen, they are mostly semiconduct semiconducting because of the band gap we have seen. Band band gap between conduction band and valence band. Therefore, they are less conducting or not conducting. However, 
when organic and conducting polymer is doped with the electron or doped with the positive removal of electron when an electron is added to the polymer added to the polymer that is to the conduction band that is reduction by reducing agent called end doping or when an electron is removed from the balance band that is oxidation or p doping positive doping negative doping electron the polymer becomes highly conductive okay as it is the polymer is non conducting however on doping with the electron or uh, removing removal of electron p doping they become highly conducting there are four main methods of doping chemical redox p doping redox n doping electrochemical p and n doping photo induced doping let us see one by one chemical redox p doping in this the polymer is treated with oxidizing agents such as iodine vapor chlorine vapor or chlorine gas as f5 etc the polymer is oxidized to give cation cationic polymeric species some of the pi bonds are oxidized some of the electrons from the valence band pi pi band are oxidized to give cationic species redox n doping positive doping n doping negative doping in this the polymer is treated with the, it is just opposite treated with the reducing agent here oxidizing agent reducing agents such as alkali metals a few of the pi bonds are reduced to give anionic radical species we will see polarons bipolarons etc electrochemical pa positive negative doping doping is also achieved electrochemically by means of cathodic reduction n doped or anodic oxidation p doped next photo induced doping the polymer is exposed to high energy electromagnetic radiation this promotes electrons to jump from valence band to conduction band making them highly conductive so doping increases the conductivity by many fold let us study here what are called polarons bipolarons solitons they are involved in they are charge carriers involved in conducting conduction of conducting polymer for example trans polyacetylene the structure of trans polyacetylene is shown here the valence band that is pi band this is pi star band because there are so many uh, n n pi bonds are there therefore we have band pi band pi star band called valence band conduction band the valence band is always full here the valence band is full because two electron two electron occupy the pi bond pi orbital pi molecular orbital when an electron is added see when an electron is added to the trans polyacetylene the electron goes to the bottom of the you see the bottom of the conduction band of the conjugate polymer this is a conjugate polymer conjugate pi electron system the conduction band is now partially filled therefore becomes conducting to give radical anion species see here one electron one electron here now an addition of one electron here to give radical anion species also called polaron with the spin s equal to 1 by 2 further addition of electron further addition of second electron to it to give when we add another electron here so minus a dianionic species is obtained called bipolaron with this s with the spin total spin equal to 0 the the two anions are present in the adjacent carbon atoms 
in polar ions the two anions are present in the adjacent carbon atoms now on here electron now here and these two electron migrates here and uh, here similarly this electron goes here this here then on delocalization or on electronic rearrangement the two anions are far away the two anions are separated the two anions are not in the adjacent carbon atoms to generate the species called soliton these are mainly responsible for the charge transport in conducting polymers there is another possibility in the previous case an electron is added to the polymer here by reducing agent in this that is uh, m doping here p doping an electron is removed from the polymer that is from the top of the valence band of the conjugate polymer to give cationic species for example here one electron one electron one electron is removed so the radical anion species radical anion uh, sorry cationic species is produced the valence band is partially filled because of uh, the valence band or the conduction band it's partially filled because of the promotion of electron from valence band to conduction band to give radical cation species called polaron with ac equal to 1 by 2 since the conduction band is partially filled or the valence band is partially filled it becomes highly conducting due to the formation of polarons further removal of second electron to give see another electron you remove this electron a dication species is formed the dication is present in adjacent carbon atom called bipolaron with the s equal to with the total spin equal to 0 on delocalization similarly here the electron moves here okay here uh, the electron moves here so the positive charge will come here then the electron moves here the positive charge migrates here on electronic rearrangement or on delocalization the two cations are far apart not in the adjacent carbon atom to generate solitons these are mainly involved in the mechanism of conduction of conducting polymer thank you for watching